Well, don't mind the sound of the wind. Here we are. It's January 22nd. I'm out at Kona Baridi at Mission 180 Children's Home. Beautiful day. Don't let the dark clouds tell you otherwise. There hasn't been any rain today. It's been nice. Just another day at the children's home. Hi guys. Mambo. Poa. Mambo is kind of like saying, how you doing? Poa means I'm doing good. I, uh, every time I come, I'm just so overwhelmed by God's goodness and faithfulness to us here at Mission 180 to provide for all that we need. Not a single one of these buildings was here when we started out. But God has been faithful. Play structures, a school, our barn is up there. And we have 16 acres to develop here at Mission 180. As we go and grow, we'll continue to build as God provides. I wanted to just give a short video update. We've been stalled on this building project since oh, I think we stopped in October of 2021. We ran out of funds for this. It's a kind of a constant battle. People make contributions and make donations to the general budget. Sometimes they give donations specifically for uh, construction or to purchase a vehicle, whatever the case may be, whatever the need may be. We've had more than one time, uh, many of you have responded to the needs for our water project as our pump has broken down or we've needed to repair that system. Um, just just over there on the other side of that house, on the other side of that sea container, there's in the ground is a huge, huge septic tank that we had to build this last year as well. That was about a $25,000 job. Um, but we are developing and this building needs to be finished. I spent about an hour hour and a half holding little babies in what we are calling baby house six now baby house six is in the bottom of that purple building right there down there the door on the lowest level in the, le in the middle that is where our baby house is it was never intended to be a baby house we were overcrowded in our big houses we were overcrowded in each of these homes over here and so we realized, oh, you'll have to excuse my shaky video, I'm using my phone. We realized we had to do something because these houses were overcrowded and, and they still are overcrowded. However, we moved all of our infants. We created a baby house in the bottom of this uh, purple building. Of course, most of you know the purple building, the middle section, the, what we call the ground level, is uh, our dining room. It's our dining room and it's our, sorry, it's not our dining room, it's our, it's our kitchen. It's where we do all of our food prep. It's where our food is stored. On the upper level is a general purpose, multi-purpose hall where we do church, where we have movie nights, where we have banquets, where we have meetings. That's up there on the top floor of that building. So that, that door that's open on the lowest level, I'll zoom in again. That door that's open there, that is designed to be uh, a storage room. But instead, it's full of 11 babies. It's a bit crowded. It's workable for now, but it's a bit crowded. And we want to finish the building that's over here on the other side of the property. We want to finish this building. We need about 7 million, 8 million Kenya shillings. 1 million Kenya shillings is roughly 12,000 Canadian dollars. So I need about 75 to 80,000 Canadian dollars to finish this building. What you're seeing is the new baby house. There will be space for 40 to even 50 infants and toddlers. Everybody aged three and under at Mission 180 will live in this building. And uh, on the top level will be our home for our older girls. In the middle section is going to be two apartments for guests who come to visit and volunteer and do ministry here. And uh, there is also going to be a nursing station for our nurse 
to be able to have a treatment room and do various things because um, we have a nurse on staff so um, that's what we're doing that's what we're building and we really desperately need to finish this the need is huge uh, we really can't take in any more babies until we get this built uh, we're just overcrowded it's very very difficult here in the context in Kenya when the police drop off an infant when the hospitals call and say there's an abandoned infant it's very 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 difficult to say no uh, we're not here to say no we're here to say yes to those babies mission 180 is here to say yes so I'm just asking you to consider if there's a way that you whoever is watching this video whoever responds to the invitation to watch this video and watches it to the end I'm asking you to consider and I know many of you already give on a monthly basis and you give whenever there's a special need and I'm asking you to consider is there a way you can help make this building a reality I'd really like to see it occupied by May it's now already the end of January that may or may not be realistic if all the funds came in tomorrow we could do it so and I really don't want to resume construction with only a fraction of the funds available because then we end up just pausing again. The idea would be to know that we have everything we need and then to continue the building process. So um, if, you, if that's you, this is a, an important job, an important project that we need to accomplish in 2022. There are other needs as well, but this is our focus right now. Consider if you can, please, with us if you can be a part of that. And that will free up so much space in all of these homes. Everybody four to 10 years old will live in these homes. And then our older boys will be living in a place just back there. And our older girls will be living on the top of this. The plan would be to put maybe barbed wire, landmines, uh, dogs, guards, you know, around our older girls' home. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Please consider, thank you so much everyone who has watched this video to the end. Thank you for how you've contributed to Mission 180. Uh, we're continuing to grow as God provides. We are blessed to live in such a beautiful place. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to, to watch this video. Hi guys. Tyler Shuja. Hi Tyler Shuja. Hi Riley. Whoa, guys. Riley, you're okay gorgeous girl. Whoa. Hey, I'm just here in the, in the baby house, sending a quick hello. <laughs> oh, whoa, somebody over here is not happy. Oh, I see, it's Larry. Larry's not happy. Oh, what? Oh, Ole, sorry. Hi. Well, we got to finish our building. Maggie is here helping. Hi, Maggie. Even Margaret. Hello, Margaret, with the aunties helping out. Whoa. Hi, Benjamin. Whoa. This is Mission 180 House 6, Baby House 6. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Oh, Claire is also here helping. Hi, Claire. Whoa. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Isaiah. Oh, hello, Miss Marjorie. Oh, lots of help around here, that's for sure.